Okay, so this is part two. I had just shown you what I was doing with these estates and what I was doing with this drop manif name, rename manif name one, manif name thing, where I'm just going to keep whittling away these different layers of what's in manif name and working down to this bottom layer where I just have the first and last name and whatever other information I want. Okay, so another common thing that's in this data set is we have end wife or end his wife that appear in the strings. And of course, since I ran proper, I know that they'll all start with capital A, capital H, capital W, or just capital A, capital W. If I didn't do that, I'd have to do every different combination of capitalized and uncapitalized and his wife uh, strings. So that's why you want to do that proper operation on your strings before you get started here. Unless there's some strong reason that you don't want to change the cases of, of the strings in any spot, um, you pretty much want to run that all the time. Okay, and then here what I do is if it appears, then I say end wife, where I have this other variable, it's just gonna say end wife, and then uh, I'm just gonna delete all the instances of end his wife or end wife. Also, if you are deceased, that happens a lot in this data set, and then what you're gonna do is replace um, generate that variable and say that they're deceased if it shows up. One time it was misspelled, so that's why I have decased here. Um, you know, it can be hard to check for all misspellings in your data, so I just decided it was easier to, to put it there in case there was a second instance than to correct the one instance in the data set. Um, and so I do the same thing here, you know, generate this new variable that says they're deceased if they are, and then take it out of manip name. Okay, another thing is there's a lot of trusts, and so in these trusts it'll say, you know, Catherine T. Spaulding, Care Guarantee Trust Company. Okay, and so what happens there is I don't want, you know, Spaulding, comma, Catherine T., comma, Care of to be, you know, mistaken for the first name because I'm going to, at the end, basically say if you come after a comma, you're the first name. If you come before a comma, you're the last name. So I don't want those things to get mixed up. So I'm going to basically um, look for any time it says Care of, take that out, and I also don't really care who it's care of. So if I ever see care, I'm gonna replace it with comma care. And then if I ever see this double comma come up because there might have been strings where it was space, comma space care, and then I replace it with um, comma space care again, but I only replace that space care with comma space care, so I'm gonna have comma comma space care. I don't want any double commas, so if there's ever a double comma, replace it with a single comma, do that an unlimited number of times. Okay, and then do the same thing with this uh, gen care of equals care if care appears in the string manif name. And then split the string manif name on the parsing string comma space care. And then I'm going to use actually the gen function here. You know, it doesn't really matter if you do or don't use it. You just have to be careful and remember if you did or didn't. I'm going to drop manif name and then I'm going to take everything that appeared before this parsing string comma care and rename that part manif name. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, replace that care of variable that I just said care before. I'm going to replace that with the trim string of care plus space plus the trim of care too. So actually this trim is redundant, but you know it doesn't hurt to trim something that doesn't need any trimming. Um, trimming just takes off leading and trailing spaces of, of the beginning and the end of the string. So that's what that does. Okay, and then you know, I do that if it's not missing care2, and then I drop care2, because all that information that wasn't care2 is now in the care of string. Okay, so that's about enough for this video, and I'm gonna get into some more complicated stuff here with a regular expression down here. So I'm gonna start a new video to show you how to do that. All right.